The world was always telling me, you're a boy, be a boy. But deep inside, I knew that I'm a girl. Teachers, mothers, mentors, and guides. The extraordinary women of the Hello Sunshine Together Live Tour share authentic and heartfelt stories with the people who inspire them most. In Story Scouts. Hi guys, my name is Gina Rosero. I am a fashion model and a media producer. I wanted to have a sit-down conversation with Rainbow Des and share about our own journey and what it means to be a proud trans woman living our life. That's one of the most important connections that we have. You know, take me in those moments when you were feeling mm -hmm. that you still can't be fully yourself, like when you're living in stealth. Well, I went to acting school for six years stealth, and my teacher started assigning me all these female roles, which was very, very validating mm -hmm. for a young, you know, trans girl who wanted to pursue dreams in acting. Here's an acting teacher a very reputable acting teacher telling me that I can play these female roles. Mm -hmm. But the auditioning was where it got a little tricky and where my inner transphobia would get stirred up a little bit because I would go to an audition, but some of them would start whispering to yeah, each other. Oh my God. They would just start like, you know, doing this like that. Yeah. And in my head, mm -hmm. immediately I was like, oh my God, they know. Yeah. How could they know? Nobody else knows. And I just started really messing myself up to a point where it would be really hard for me to go to auditions. Mm. And that's where it gets really tricky for our community because yeah. my mentor told me that I would have a better life if I didn't tell anyone. Mm -hmm. And so that's exactly what I did. Yeah, It's a survival tactic. It, it's a way to just, you know, continue with our life. When I was 15 years old, I started joining transgender beauty mm -hmm. pageant. And when I moved to New York and I started modeling and having that opportunity to live my dream as a model mm -hmm. was a, a big accomplishment on its own thing for me because it was such a big dream. I used to remember just looking at Naomi Campbell, Tyra mm -hmm. Banks and magazines in the Philippines and I dreamed that one day I will be like them. But because it was a completely different time, I was just like, I'm not ready to tell this part of my story. So for eight years as a model, even my model agent did not know I was a transgender woman. And I was so scared for so long that somebody, that will, someone find out, will find out. That you know, somebody from my past will, will say something. The first time I met Rain was an instant connection. Almost like we've known each other for so long. I've been wanting to meet you. We've known each other for a while. Well, we've been like clicking, liking each other on Instagram. On Instagram, sure. yeah. <laughs> Instagram stalking, a lot, of, a lot of that going on. I remember we went into the conversation right away about our own journey. We were both born in the Philippines, moved to a different place to yeah. follow our dream. I think that was like the, it was the kind bigger of connection. You magical. Know? Yeah. It was almost as if there was trust that we didn't necessarily have to build over yeah. time because I saw myself and you, it kind of gave me this permission to love myself even more, Aww. which is something that I think I had been searching for and something that I was kind of ready for. And so that's the gift, I think. You know, I think we were both just at the same moment in our life of just wanting mm -hmm. to really fully be ourselves when we were ready. I could not see myself continuing living without fully being my most authentic self. And I told myself, if I'm going to take a risk in telling my story mm -hmm. in the most public way, I want it to be so big. What better way to do yeah. that than on a TED Talk, which is like a crazy thought to think about. I literally was almost late to a meeting because I had stopped everything so I can watch this TED Talk because I knew it didn't just pop up on my screen for no reason. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I knew I had to watch it because it was something that I had been looking for. And you're so eloquent and so beautiful. And just the first words that came out of your mouth, why I must come out, really resonated with me because it was something that I've been saying to myself, not out loud, yeah. but inside it was something that's been dying to be said out loud. Mm -hmm. And there you were on stage just saying it out loud. I'm never gonna forget it. Mm -hmm. It's such a huge moment in my life. And that's when I made the decision to figure out who I was and get back into the community. She is my sister. 
it's so important to have that sister where you could just talk about so many things and find inspiration through each other. And I hope everybody could find that, you know, Rain Valdez in their life. Where do you find inspiration? Where do you find the courage and, and, and the confidence in, in continuing to do what you do? You know, I've learned to accept that being out and proud is going to be a part of my life. And the inspiration I get is knowing that I'm not alone and knowing that the world is changing mm -hmm. and it's going to continue to change. We're going to have a world where we have our own space and that gender and sexuality is no longer a question. Yeah. It's just part of our lives. Yeah. And that vision is something that I look forward to, which is why as an actor and filmmaker, it's very important to me to write and create and produce content that's positive because we have so much in the history of filmmaking going against us. Mm -hmm. That's what's so beautiful about what you do and what I do and what everybody else does in the community. We can't do everything all on our own, but we can accomplish so much together. Mm -hmm. And that's what I live for. I live for community. The mm -hmm. confidence and, and, and the inspiration that we find yeah. through each other. It's such a magical and powerful driving force. I'm living the dream that I envisioned for so yeah. long as an out and proud yeah. transgender woman. There's a sense of purpose. I, I could not be more thankful that I have you in my life, that mm -hmm. we have each other, the sisterhood that we have. I love you for that.